Hello YouTubers, this is Rob at Higher Power Perform or Higher Power H2O. This I want to apologize. This is not my style generally. I don't like to confront and try and hurt someone's uh, or, 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 or change a, uh, hurt someone's change someone's perspective about a person. Um, in this case, I'm making an exception. Uh, YouTuber's name is Radar Man, 0012000. Um, he watches videos. Um, he's trying to make a uh, use a diesel test, um, which is fine, but he's trying to show a loss because of horsepower need needed to generate electricity. Now, what I'm about to say may upset a lot of people and a lot of people will, will be enlightened a little bit hydrogen increases thermal efficiency because of uh, increased flame speed more violent explosion um, shorter burn time or shorter duration and increased cylinder pressure. And last but not least, it allows for a lean burn situation um, in gasoline. Diesel, there's still some more research that needs to be made as far as um, uh, thermal efficiency gains have worked more with the gasoline than the diesel, but the diesel is shown very promising. Um, and this isn't just radar man. This is to any naysayer or any anybody out there pounding on people who are searching for the truth and looking like I am. This is for your your whole little group, uh, the group that brings nothing to the table, no valid arguments, just calling names, saying pseudoscience, saying it's physically impossible, physics ruled out. It doesn't, and we'll explain this why. A good example of a good skeptic which I'm skeptical also, um, but a good skeptic would be Energy Supply 2008. Uh, he's taken a mathematical approach with BTUs. Uh, BTUs is part of the equation, but it's very linear. It's only single-minded. It's, it's not looking at the whole picture. Uh, it's not considering thermal efficiencies. I uh, watch a couple of my other videos that will be uploaded. But we're going to compare two cars here. We're going to compare a 2008 Honda with a 2.2 or 2.5 liter, I don't remember which, and my 93 Dodge. A 2008 Honda creates 132 kilowatts. Um, that's going standard. Uh, they're going to say, you know, kilowatts instead of uh, the metric version, um, which is 177 horsepower, and it makes 161 foot pounds of torque. My 93 Dodge makes 119 kilowatts so by kilowatts it makes less power it's 160 horsepower and 400 foot-pounds of torque now the purpose of this comparison torque is what does the work in a vehicle not horsepower horsepower is a calculated number um, I understand the whole James Watt thing and if you look at the Watt thing compared torque versus horsepower with that method it's changed at least four times in the last 200 years from like 21,000 and I don't remember the exact uh, but it has to do with 21,000 pounds per minute or per hour and now it's up to 34,000 um, that's a fine valid measurement for an electric motor not an internal combustion engine you take an engine that makes a thousand horsepower and 500 foot-pounds of torque and there is some of them out there and I can give examples if someone needs them and you either drag race for acceleration or you put a load behind it behind something that makes 500 horse and a thousand foot-pounds that thousand foot-pound vehicle will win hands down every instance acceleration pulling load the whole nine yards but it's electrical power, it's measurement in watts is less. 
it doesn't consider the whole torque in. Cylinder pressure is what makes torque in an engine, period. Nothing else. It has nothing to do with horsepower. It is cylinder pressure, direct, and that's a lever with a crankshaft. It spins on a fulcrum, and you have a stroke, and when it pushes it down, you know, it's the whole lever concept. Look up torque. Understand it. Definition of torque is a twisting motion. Well, your crankshaft has a twisting motion, and guess what? Your alternator does too. Let's go a little deeper into that. My 90 Suburban, if I put a 300 amp load on it, with, uh, say my, let's do my HHO thing, you know, um, and you unhook the HHO, so it's not going into the engine, and flip on that switch, that series of relays that I have, my engine RPM will fall, it will decrease. Why? Because cylinder pressures are relatively low, and torque is very, very low. Uh, it makes peak torque at like 3500 RPM. My diesel? A 93 Dodge, put a 400 amp load on it, will not change the RPMs at all at idle. Nothing. So that means it will use no more fuel. Realize this, understand it, comprehend it. So, torque is what does the work. On paper, that Honda makes more electrical power than my Dodge. Try and pull three horses behind your Honda. My Dodge does it fine. Try and pull a race car behind your Honda. My Dodge does it fine. So your whole alternator theory and your HHO scam video got thrown out the window, my friend. Totally thrown out the window. You're out of your league. You don't understand it. And, you know, I have no problem with ignorance. I do have a problem with people who insult, name call. You know, they're trying to defend their point, which is respectable. And then you delete comments and you resort to name calling when you don't comprehend. Get real. Hydrogen, even your little video or your link that you put in your video proves that hydrogen increases cylinder pressure, therefore increases torque. You're, prov you're hurting yourself because you don't comprehend. And you're making yourself look like an idiot. I would love for you to put your face in front of the camera. Like I am. So everybody knows who you are. So when this comes out. During this year. They'll know who you are. I challenge you. Do it. You won't. You'll run. You'll ch probably change your screen name after this video like you have before. And it, this is to all you naysayers that are in this particular mindset. If you don't have nothing to bring to table, don't come to dinner. You know, this is not this is not free for all. These are people who are thinking, who are trying, who are trying to better lives. Garage tinkerers have changed the world. You would not have an automobile for orders not garage tinkerers. And I'm not even in that category. But there is a lot of people who are. And you're I do agree that ninety nine percent of HHO is scams. It's wrong. But it doesn't mean there's nothing there. Chew on these numbers. And Radar Man, you have three things to answer me on now. Please don't run from them. You know? Or just, you know, back off. Or bring some real food to the table. Because you have nothing. You have nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. And even your stuff that you're quoting contradicts because you don't comprehend. I understand what's happening in an engine. I'm seeing it. I am saying that it's not figured out. It needs more work. But please, quit acting like such a child and bring some real documentation, some real work. Prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that it doesn't work. You're saying all over the net with comments, I follow you. You know, because I'm seeing other people, you know, I, I look at stuff. You're saying it can't improve emissions, it can't do this, you can't compare it to NASA's 30 year old document. Bull! Methanol reformer, cell. Hydrogen's hydrogen. It all works. Hydrogen, you know, NASA says there's benefits, there's this. Their NOx wear off, their nitrous oxides, because of high intake air temperatures. I don't have that problem with the cell. I have cool intake air temperatures. But I'm saying it needs more work. NASA's saying it needs more work, but that means there's something there. Otherwise, they'd say absolutely, it doesn't.
but you don't understand it all. And you're trying to show people that you do, and you're looking like a fool. All of you. You know? You know, if you actually believe that and you think that, that, that it doesn't work, let us be the fool. But it's not going to happen. There's too much proof. There's too much evidence. Wake up. Get a clue. Get a life.